Welcome back everybody. This is Chef Allen. Today I'm going to talk about tomatillos. Some of you have been asking me what to do with tomatillos. They're a wonderful vegetable. They're a part of the nightshade family. They're related to tomatoes, but they don't look like tomatoes and they don't taste like them either. They're a little bit different and maybe you're not used to what to do with them. So I'm going to show you two different kinds of salsa. One is a roasted salsa and one is a raw salsa. And then we're gonna make a chicken and tomatillo dish, which is one of my favorites. So let's get going. We're going to begin with our roasted tomatillos. First, we're going to take our food processor and quickly pulse our onions and our hot chilies. Do a quick pulse. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Those are potent peppers. Next, we're going to add our roasted tomatillos, which I cooked, including the juice. I cooked in the oven, 400 degrees skin and all they come out really really nice they get all sweet i'm gonna throw in our cilantro and some lime juice pretty simple that's it for our next salsa, we're gonna make a raw tomatillo salsa. And in the end, you can decide which one you like best, but I suggest trying them both because they're pretty amazing. I've got uh, eight ounces of tomatillos, garlic, and some hot peppers. Food processor, there we go. Okay, I did a rough chop in there, I'm gonna add my cilantro and some lime juice. Now we're going to blend it a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just going to stir in my onions and add a little salt and we'll be right back. We're back again. We're going to be making braised chicken with tomatillo sauce. It's a pretty fantastic recipe. The first thing we're going to do is have a little, I'm using avocado oil here because it's a nice high heat oil and it's not quite as expensive as my really good olive oil. So I have a Le Creuset pot, one of my favorites. I like this one because it's a little shallower so and a little wider, so it's easier to work with. I've got boneless chicken breasts here, and I am um, I have salted and peppered them, and I've taken the supremes off of the chicken because I find this is Bell and Evans chicken, but I find that they're so large that it's really too much chicken for one person, so I. I take the supremes off and cook them separately. So, we're just, sorry for the noise, but we're going to braise these on both sides. We're gonna flip them about eight minutes total, and we'll come back and see what we do next. Here we are back again, and we have braised our chicken, and it's got nice and brown, about eight minutes or so. Both sides get all everything cooked. And now I'm going to add my onions to my pot and cook those up a little bit till they're brown. The one thing I want to say is that you don't have to use just chicken breasts. I know a lot of people like boneless breasts, but um, chicken pieces work very well here, either thighs or different pieces. And you might know this, that the chicken pieces are a little cheaper to buy than boneless breasts. Actually, when you cook chicken with the bone in it, 
it actually is more flavorful. Perhaps it's a little more work to eat, but it's worth it. So try it if you get a chance. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes after our onions have cooked a bit. The next step is to add a, our chicken stock. And we're gonna add that in. And we're gonna give that a little stir. Then we're gonna add our tomatillos. So I've got all these nice tomatillos. They've got, uh, I quartered them. I roasted poblano peppers and chopped them up and add those in. And a little bit of chopped garlic. It's always better with garlic. And finally, we're gonna put in some cumin. Chicken and cumin is a really nice combination. Cumin and uh, tomatillos is excellent. So we're gonna just cook that down a little bit. And then we're gonna put our chicken on top and let it all cook and get yummy and great. Now we're going to add our chicken. I have brought my tomatillo mixture to a boil and let it get started cooking. I'm going to now add my chicken into it. It's going to sit on top and make sure I get all those yummy juices that were accumulated. We're just going to let that simmer for a little while on low. Okay, we're in the middle and I want to check the temperature of my chicken. Taking my lid off. This is where I get to show you my favorite kitchen tool. This is a thermo, thermo pen. It's a digital thermometer and it's an instant read. So I am going to take the temperature of this chicken breast. I want to stick it right in the thickest part along the length of it. It says 149. I want, so we're not quite done. We want to get our chicken up to 165, but it's coming along nicely. The tomatillos are breaking down and turning really kind of olive green, not, not that bright green anymore. And I'm going to add half of the cilantro. I'm gonna add the rest of it fresh at the end. I wanna have that cooked down. So those of you who don't like cilantro, sorry, because this is a really nice uh, flavor pairing, the chicken, the tomatillos, the poblano peppers, and the cilantro. Anyway, we'll be back in another few minutes when we hit 165. So we've got our finished braised chicken with tomatillo sauce, and I've plated it for you with a little garnish of some fresh cilantro, and I've added some uh, quinoa, multicolored quinoa. You can use it with uh, rice or anything that will sop up those yummy juices. You can eat this a couple different ways. You could eat it just like this, or you could actually shred the chicken. You can blend the sauce if you like a more cohesive sauce. You could also eat it in tortillas. So there's lots of flexibility here. It's just whatever your family likes and whatever you like. And we have our two tomatillo sauces here, the, the roasted one, which is a little bit more viscous because that's what happens when these roast and then this is the fresh one. You should try both because they're both delicious, but they're very different from one another. This is Chef Ellen saying thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and come back another time.